Better. Hello? Hello? All you beautiful people out there. I don't know if I can be heard, but um, maybe I can, maybe I can't. Let me see here. Oh, good. I can hear that. I can hear that quite well. Hello, all you beautiful people out there in the world. Sitting there on your laptops, on your computers, on your phone, tuning in. There's one person watching, and it might be myself in a separate tab. But I don't give a shit, because eventually, like, ten people will see this. They will see this god-awful microphone review. But that's right. You can't ignore me. You cannot deny that Mickey Richards is the, well, not the best, but I'm doing a mic review, so fuck you and listen. Yeah, this is what you wanted to see. Yeah. This is not just your ordinary microphone. Well, it is. And it's a cheap microphone at that. But this comes with a stand and a, you know, thing for breathing or whatever distortion decreases distortion or something. I don't know. And this little holder thing, and it's a USB plug, and yeah, yeah, yeah. This microphone here, which hopefully sounds better than the god-awful Logitech webcam I have, which has decent picture, I guess, but it the audio is shit. Anyway, it's hard to look at the camera, because the camera's up here on the top of this tall-ass monitor I have, and this thing's, like, down here, so... I think I'd raise it, but then you have to see the damn thing, which I don't like having this in front of me. I might knock it over some shit. So anyway, today I'm reviewing, if you read the title, the Zing Yu uh, ZY801. And I should have been able to read, read that quicker. Ugh, I'm getting, I'm losing it. I don't know if I ever had it, but I think I'm losing it. Any sort of intelligence I had to read even basic print. Oh, well. Now, this is not a serious review because I literally just put this together like two minutes ago. So I have no freaking clue if you can even hear me. I think you can because I, in the beginning, opened it on another tab. So it should work and it should be loud enough. Hopefully not too loud. But, yeah, I got this mic for Christmas. I asked for it from Santa Claus, and Santa did come. This, I think, was like $40, $39, and reviews of it were decent, and it's very good for the value, and you get a bunch of stuff with it. You get the stand, of course. You can open and close that. Um, I think you might have been able to make it taller if you want to. You have the microphone. You have, obviously, the holder. You have the cord, USB cord. Also, what comes with this thing is this. Um, this is a USB sound card, 5H V over 2, whatever that means. And here, obviously, is the USB. Wow, the quality of this up close is pretty good. Yeah, look at that quality. Mmm. Oh, yeah, baby. That's just because it's white. On the end here, you have um, one of them is, I think, headphones. The other one is the microphone or something. I don't freaking know, but yeah, it, it's something. Anyway, so this might make the sound better. I'm not sure. I tried plugging it in. The computer didn't detect it, so I don't know. I just do it to the side for now. Oh, and also came with this thingy, which is annoying. You know, the, um, I guess this prevents your breathing. <sighs> you know, that kind of shit. But it's bulky and you can hook it up and just have it. And, you know, I don't need some big ass pan thing or whatever the fuck it is. I I don't know. I hate all this big bulk crap. 
I really want something I can just like mount to the top of my computer monitor and not have to look at, not have to bump into, not have to deal with. Because if I had, I have a laptop, and I, my little Logitech webcam there is great because it's very portable with a with a um laptop. But the sound quality is not that great. It's a hell of a lot better than my phone, which frankly has awful sound quality. It's an old Motorola Moto E or G. Anyway, this thing was like 50 bucks new. It's the cheapest, one of the cheapest things you can get. Um, yeah, so the sound quality on that, especially since I've damaged it a lot and the whole sound or camera thing or something there is completely broke. Like the whole glass has been off of there for a year and it's all cracked off. Yeah, the inside chip stuff is exposed. Anyway, that's pretty fucked. So that sounds horrible. It's got tons of distortion. Sounds like crap. So I can't really use it. So if I want to go out and film me shopping or looking at junk or digging in people's garbage, which I do do occasionally, and I'm not ashamed. When people throw out good stuff, I'm going to be digging. You know, I've gotten some really good junk from people just throwing out stuff. So, but oh well, if I have to use this, I have to use this. Maybe one day I'll get a better phone, an upgrade, and it'll sound decent enough that I can just record with a phone and not have to carry around. And maybe I'll get a, like an a, a iPad thing, like a tablet, right? There's something big enough that I can stream and see my face and see if I'm looking in the right direction or whatever. And, you know, film and small enough I can conceal it in my pocket or something. If I'm going to go hiking or just Mickey goes to town and you know, ooh, I don't know. Something like that. Hopefully, if I get a better phone, I can just use a phone. I'm not going to carry around this or anything, but whatever. Who knows? Uh, so this came with a little instruction booklet. This is pretty much it. It's basically a small page, front and back. This one tells you all the pieces you should have. This is a sort of a diagram. It's pretty easy to understand how to set it up doesn't tell you directly, but honestly, detailed worded directions would pretty much confuse you more than this would. Um, thank you for purchasing Zingyu. The ZY800 condenser microphone. Please carefully follow the instructions in the manual for ensuring long, trouble-free use of your equipment. Zingyu. Condenser microphone ZY801. So I'll give you this diagram. Basically says the Zing U on the face. Wait. Front of the mic. Am I supposed to be holding this not like that? Oh, maybe that's why. Oh, God. Am I a dumbass? Hello, am I killing people with the loudness? So I read this before, but I didn't realize this is supposed to be in the front. This is supposed to be in the direction of the device you're trying to record. And this has pretty much been up and not directly facing me. So I guess I can't hold this parallel or whatever. I have to hold it or horizontal. I have to hold it vertical, I guess. Now the Zingyu symbol or logo is facing me. I guess this makes sort of sense. I don't know. Okay. Do I have to do that? Now it's top heavy. It's falling over. I don't know. This is top heavy now. How am I going to freaking, you know, it's like if I angle it, well, shit, I'm an idiot. Hold on. I'm a biggest idiot in the world. So how the fuck do I like I don't know. Yeah, that works, I guess. It's still fucking top heavy. This goddamn thing. Do I have to lower it? To open this son of a bitch up. Oh. Open up your mind, baby. That's as wide as it'll go. Well no. Uh, 
Ah, dude, I won't even stand on this thing. Fuck this piece of shit. Yeah, it's my first idea or my first um opinion on the sound is it sounds decent. It sounds, you know, okay. It's good. I can record music with it because I don't have high standards for that. And it's better than the webcam thing. So maybe I'll use it a lot. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But I didn't pay for it. I got it as a gift. So it works. It works. And I got to stop drinking this soda because this is just screwing up my stomach the whole day. Because on Christmas and Christmas Eve, I just drank like crazy, ate like crazy. I probably gained like five pounds or something. Just there's so many appetizers and then dinner and desserts. And, you know, my family, we cook a lot. And there's a lot of food. There's a lot of appetizers. There's a big dinner and it's a big thing, right? You know, we ain't just buying a ham from the store and that's it. We have a lot of stuff. So I eat and eat and eat and I snack a lot, you know, and then 20 minutes later, I come back and snack some more. And then you get home and you have a midnight snack of leftovers and it's just, it's crazy. So I feel like there's a war going on in my stomach. And today when I'm finally starting to feel better, I eat again. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go back to the fridge and get some more unhealthy oysters and other cheese crap and we had some big cheese platter I've been snacking on, and I've probably literally eaten like 2,000 calories worth of cheese today. So I got I got to stop doing that. I got if I want to make it to 30, which I guess is a goal. I mean, we'll see. Ugh, I don't know what to talk about because when Paul talks about Paul's ego, whatever, I watch his live streams, and he gets like 400 or 300 something people. When he's doing a long live stream. And I guess that makes sense because he's popular and he has a lot to talk about. I don't have a lot to fucking talk about. But I guess I, I think it's something. What? Politics? Life? Tell you about the time I got diarrhea at a mall, which was pretty depressing. Um, yeah, and speaking of that, I was listening to Paul today. And he was talking about how, you know... People are talking about there's corruption in politics and, and, and our culture, right? And how our culture is a part of us. And how the corruption in Washington and the corruption in the corporations, that's a part of our culture. And there are people arguing with them, but I completely agree. You know, like the people who are watching this now, I think the one person who's watching this, you're not getting off your ass and protesting. You're not changing the system. You know, so all these people complain, oh, we, we have no choice. The politicians are corrupt and, and they screw us over and then the corporations screw us over and there's nothing we can do about it, right? We can't change the laws. We can't because Washington's corrupt and blah, blah, blah. You vote for these people. You know, you vote for the, you know, I guess you don't care enough that society is corrupt. Like they're all, like we've known for years that Nike is like a piece of shit company and they have child labor and like kids in Bangladesh and I think even South America and Africa in horrific conditions. They're burning huge piles of waste, rubber and garbage and polluting like mad. And people know this and they complain and it's horrifying. But guess what them kids get under the freaking Christmas tree every year? Nike products. Guess what they buy? A just do it shirt. You know, you don't stop buying that shit. You complain that society is corrupt and corporations are corrupt, but why the fuck should they stop? If I was in Nike's position, why the hell would I stop? I can charge obscene amounts for my product. Labor costs are next to nothing because I'm hiring poor, uneducated children in terrible conditions. People who even know about it. It's been exposed numerous times in many documentaries. And at the end of the day, nobody gives a shit. They still buy our products. And we have record sales. And shoes are flying. We can make shitty shoes. You know, they have sneakers that look like they're about to fall apart. Oh, they're lighter. So they're better for, for running or aerodynamic or something. They're lightweight. You know, the shoes with like the webbing in the front. Yeah, I never like shoes like that. Because the shoes with the webbing in the front, I know in like a month that's going to rip. It's going to get holes. So it's going to start falling apart. That shoe's not going to last me more than like three, four months. Right. Yet they want like, oh, eighty dollars, hundred twenty dollars. And people will buy this shit. So 
So what's the incentive, you know, for corporations to stop being greedy pieces of shit? You keep buying it. We're a consumer society. That is part of our culture. You know, you can't separate that. Damn it. You can't separate that shit because it's part of who we are. You know, the politicians, Trump in office, that represents who we are. Okay. You can, you can complain. Oh, the system is, um, system is rigged and blah, 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 blah. But that's who we are. We voted for them. If you were that concerned about Trump, if you were that concerned about Republican politicians or Democratic politicians, you would protest more. You'd get off your asses. You'd protest. You'd riot. You would fight hard. You'd call them up every week, every day and complain. But most people are not doing that. They're content with the way things are. They complain a little passively. Oh, I don't like the system. It's against us. It's rigged. We can't change the world. But you allow it to happen. You could be protesting in Washington. You could be storming the White House, risking your life. But you're not. You're sitting on your ass. And people aren't doing anything. And it's like, well, because you're content with the way things are. You know? So the corporations have control over us. We have control. Right? McDonald's is thriving because fat asses like me and you go there all the time and buy their shit. You buy their shit. Oh, I want the newest iPhone. They purposely make iPhones to break. Okay? When they are designing the next iPhone, they say, how can we do the least amount of work and make the most amount of money? And how can we sell the most amount of products? Make them cheap. Make them break. Right? We don't want a reliable phone that's going to last for years. We don't want someone using their phone for five, ten years. No, 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 no. We want you to have to buy a new phone every year. So we're going to make the glass easy to crack. And when the glass cracks, the screen will easily break. And it'll be a broken phone. And we want the, you know, to purposely get slow. And not update. And we'll give you updates probably against your will. Let's screw up the system. And you have to buy a new one. And people are not idiots. Teenagers who buy this shit are not idiots. They know fully well Apple is purposely trying to make their phone break after a year or two. So they'll buy a new one. They know it's not going to last them very long. They know the whole concept is designed to get money out of you. And not be a reliable, long-lasting product. But they buy it anyway. Why? Because people, that's part of our culture. We're content with corporations screwing us over. We don't care. We've stopped caring. We care more about fitting in and being trendy than shit than we do about actually changing the system. That's who we are. We're content with it. My house is full of materialistic junk. Your houses are probably full of material materialistic junk. And that's not going to change because that's who we are. That's what we enjoy doing. That's what we like. That's that's passion. That's our passion. Did I break? What the hell? I don't know. Uh-oh. Did that some rubber band go flying off this thing? I don't know. Yeah, where the hell did that go? I don't know. The hell went. A little bouncy. Oh, well. I'll have to find that later. But you're content. Cheers, man. You're content with this society. And, you know, you're not willing to change anything. You know? If you're looking going, oh, 2020, you know, Joe Biden, the polls say Joe Biden's going to win. And the media keeps telling me, oh, Joe Biden is going to win. Joe Biden is going to win in the polls. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? And you're going to vote for Joe Biden? knowing he's old, knowing he's not going to change anything, you're doing it to yourself. You're just going, oh, it's safest to do this, blah, blah, blah. You're not actually changing the system. You're just going along with what they want. So you complain that these corporations are, don't have your interests, that the politicians don't have your interests, yet you vote for them. You buy their products. You go to Starbucks and you buy that overpriced latte thingy with all the sugar and the cream and the bullshit. You get the pumpkin pie spice 
shit that doesn't even have any real pumpkin in it. Because that's who you are. You're consumerist Americans. And you can't help yourselves. So, yeah. And there's no way of stopping this. I like junk. You like junk. We all like junk. There's no way of stopping our society. We're going to be with it like this till we die. One day there might be a revolution when people just are fed up with all this technology and we want to go back to the simple time. Maybe one day that'll happen. But today, as far as I know, and for the next 50, 100 years, we're going to be buying materialistic junk. Yep, we're going to keep buying it. And you dumb motherfuckers, and I'm a dumb motherfucker, I'm going to buy it too. Right? And once you openly find out some company is slaughtering baby animals, or they're abusing their workers, you could literally find out that the whole specific ghost is polluted with garbage. And 90% of that garbage is coming from the commercial products you buy. And the companies are willingly letting them pollute the ocean waters. You're going to go, oh, that's terrible. But you're not going to stop buying the shit. Not going to stop. You know? I would be shocked if everyone was just like, screw Nike. We're just going to boycott the whole company. We don't care about the fashion. We don't care about trendy clothing anymore. We're just going to wear probably higher quality, cheaper budget shoes. We're going to go to Walmart and get our shoes. We don't give a shit. I would be shocked if society said that. They won't. Anyway. So I think this microphone is okay. Obviously, I can't really tell until I... Um, until I watch this video later. I guess I could have OBS up or something, but I'm just recording without anything right now. Just, ooh. Pra, pra, pra. Everyone the subreddit now has new rules. Please read them. Fuck the subreddit. Cool. Oh, yeah. Fuck subreddits. I, I'm in so many discords. Like 30 or 40 of them now. And half of them are fucking dead. And... I don't want to leave them because I feel like maybe one day it'll be active or maybe there's somebody in that discord, which is only in that discord and I won't see them again. Cause back was, I was on, was on blah, 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 blah. when I was on the DP discord and it split up and everything, all these different people went in all these different directions and there are people I remember and I might not see them again. And it's, it's weird. And you know, I, so I stay in old discords just cause maybe it'll get active again or who knows. So I'm in like, 40 or 30 discords and half of them are dead and you get all these notifications all the time and some of them are bad there was one i had to leave because literally in the announcements there was like 40 announcements in one day it was like some game like dungeons and dragons or some like um lord of the rings kind of thing i don't remember you know and it was just announcements about pick your team or Pick your leadership or you can be a ruler of something. And I'm, I don't have time for that. I have school stuff. I have Christmas stuff. I have me just needing to lie around eight hours a day because that's just how I am. I have lazy man syndrome. It's a serious condition. Don't judge me. It's who I am. It's how I was born. Lazy man syndrome. Serious condition. You know, when I was a kid, I just lied around. And my mama was like, no, please make him a hardworking man. And so she pulled my ass to the doctor. The doc was like looking at me and, uh, uh, you know, looking at my hair, everything. And he was like, yep, Mrs. Mickey, your son is a lazy piece of shit. And he's going to lie around all day drinking beers and complaining on the Internet. And that'll be the highlight of his life. She was like, no. And that's the story of my life. And, and, but it can't change. There's experimental medicine out there. You know? Trying the homeless approach for a week and then suffering and realizing I might as well get a job or something else. Well, I have a part-time job. But anyway, that's... Now it's very part-time. But, you know... I work at least once a week. But anyway... And I could sell stuff, which would be the natural approach for me to do. 
is sell half the stuff I have, which would probably provide for me for months, if not more than that. But oh, well, I'm not desperate for money now. But, you know, I have lazy man syndrome. It's a chronic condition. So I want to sit on my ass and watch YouTube for hours and then get bored and then say, hmm, that's the thing. I get bored. I'm like, okay, I bought a thousand dollar gaming PC like a month ago. And I still haven't played any serious games because I'm like, okay, I downloaded some games, but my old Logitech, um, this controller that I got for a dollar at a church sale doesn't work. It's spazzing out or whatever. It's it's just it's not working right. You know, you I was trying to play Half Life Two and this controller is not working at all, and it's just not responsive. So I said, okay, I need a new one. Natural response for me to go to Walmart or something that day, maybe even order one from Amazon. But nope, I'm just like, yeah, I'll get to it eventually. I don't want to go out. I'm too lazy. I don't want to go anywhere, go in public. I don't want to order something. I don't want to get on my credit card. So I'm bored. And I'm, but I'm too lazy to push myself to fix the technical problems I have, to fix my, my computer, to game to figure out how to stream with OBS. I even tried hooking up. Uh, I had a, I got a, like a 50 foot uh, ethernet cable to increase my internet so I could stream and game. And I didn't even connect, connect that yet. Cause I'm a lazy piece of shit. It's like, I'm like complaining. Oh, I have nothing to do. And I could be doing all these things, but I don't do it. Cause I'm a lazy piece of shit. Oh, damn it. It's tough being lazy. Fucking lazy. Ooh, Half-Life 3. I don't know. I'm not... God damn it. This thing keeps fucking... Ugh, I don't like how this is set up. I'm, am I breaking this? I hope not. Ah, oh, shit. Well, um, this thing is kind of awkward because this is supposed to be with the logo facing me, but the way this is set up, I don't know how I'm going to have the microphone facing me. That doesn't really... Because it's supposed to go like... horizontal like this which makes sense but then the logo is facing upright i don't what whatever it's the weird thing it's facing the opposite of me i got to the point now even then I just, that wouldn't work well anyway good enough i don't give a shit i do need motivation motivate me mama motivate me people motivate me Oh, and I don't know if I showed you this thing. But I have this annoying pan thing that goes with this microphone. I guess I can hook it up on the bottom here and have it, like, awkwardly covering my face or whatever. And I don't want to deal with that now. Ugh. Hey, Honest Fred. How you doing, Honest Boy? You know, honesty killed the cat, man. That's, that's not curiosity that killed the cat. Fuck no. Curiosity was good for the cat. It's honesty that killed the cat. It's the lying son of a bitch cat. That's the cat that got ahead. Right? The cat that denies any of the bullshit it's ever done. Cat that just... That's how Trump won office. Because honesty... Whatever. That's weird. I don't know. I'm bored. Yeah, Pandora's box, man. Woo! I guess the cat did have it coming. Whether you're honest or dishonest or you're curious, the cat always dies in the end. Fuck cats. I have two cats. I like cats, but still, fuck cats. Man, my cat just sleeps all day. Like, I have, like, she's, like, 22 now or something, maybe even a little older, and all she does is sleep all day. It's like, you know, oh, I get up. It's, like, 10 a.m. She's sleeping. 2 a.m., She's still sleeping. 4 a.m. She's walking around. She goes to get food. She goes back to sleep. I open the door. You want to go outside because she's mostly an outdoor cat, but it's cold and she's old, so she's staying inside a lot now. And she doesn't want to go out. Oh, it's cold. So she just turns around and that goes back to her bed thing. And I'm like, okay, whatever. She just wants to sleep literally all day long. So I don't know. I hope she makes it another few years, but who knows? 
She's getting kind of frail now, but not bad. She still cleans herself and all that stuff, you know. Uh, whatever weird cats do. Dogs are not the best, man. Let me tell you a story. And this is a terrible story. But I was out Christmas shopping like a week ago. And there was like some guy with a big poodle. Like this was a brown curly haired poodle thing. And this thing was big, man. This was tall. It was skinny, but it was thick. You know, thick legs, thick body. This was a big dog. And this guy's walking his dog. And I'm like, oh, that's a big, I think it was a puppy. It was like a young dog. Oh, that's a nice, big, playful dog. And I thought, oh, maybe I want a dog one day. And then the dog went over to a bush. And you know what the dog did? This I was sitting on a bench outside of a store. And you know what this dog did? This dog took a big, massive shit. A big, yellowish, stinky shit. Straight on the ground. And you know what that old motherfucker had to do? He had to pick, find a little baggie or something. And he had to pick that fucking shit up. I don't want to have to pick up some big ass dog shits. I don't want to have to be walking in some yard of mine and step in dog shit all the time. Okay? That sounds fucking disgusting. You know, like a cat, it goes in the litter box. You wait until the litter box is literally halfway filled with shit and piss. And then you just dump the whole thing. And then you don't have to see it again. You just put more, you know, litter in there. Dogs don't do that. They shit anywhere they want to. They'll shit on the floor. They'll shit on a, a, a under a bush. They'll shit in the middle of the lawn. If you had a driveway, they might have been shit there. Dogs just shit in places. And you got to deal with that shit. So, fuck that, dude. Woo, what's with my hair? Oh, that's just a gap. Oh, I thought there was like some like static or distortion or something, but it's just gap in my hair. Being the brightness behind me. Fuck dogs, man. I was always scared of dogs as a kid. Because I was never a big kid. And there were these big dogs. I had family members with big ass dogs. My neighbors had German shepherds that scared the fuck out of me as a kid because they would be barking all the time. And the other neighbor had a big lab. And this was a bad lab. I mean, this dog was fucked up. It's not your friendly Labrador retriever or whatever. This thing was old. This thing was nasty. It ran after us numerous times. It barked at us. It attacked me, I think, once. It was just a really crazy, mentally just screwed up dog. I think they keep it chained up all the time. I don't know. But this dog was just messed up, man. So I never really liked big dogs. And then I had a family member that had a small dog. And that dog was just the worst. It would always attack you. It wouldn't let you pet you. I think it was a, it was a chihuahua. One of those little, you know. And it would always bark. <laughs> And it would attack bigger dogs. And it wouldn't let you pet it. And it would, like, growl at you. And it was just a nasty thing. Like, just, you know. So, I don't know. There are not a lot of good dogs out there. Cool. Groom your beard, man. That's awesome, man. I don't know. I don't think they were that bad with the dog. I think it was just, I don't know. It was just a weird dog with a weird personality. I don't know. Um, uh, no, one of my, I think my aunt or someone in the family had a good dog. I like that dog. I think it died recently or it got pretty old, but yeah. That's another thing. Dogs don't live as long, especially the big ones. You want some big sloppy mastiff or something in like eight years, that thing's gone. And you got to look for another one. All right, dogs don't live that long, baby. You got kids, right? Oh, the kid's a couple years old. I'm going to get him a dog. When he's like 13, oh, the dog died. You know, like, it's horrible, right? Cats, they live a lot longer. Even like, get a cow or something. Get a donkey, a horse, a cow. They live a lot longer than dogs do. Chickens don't live that long, but they're chickens. So you don't get that attached to them, right? You get like a dozen chickens or something. One of them dies. Meh. What are you gonna do? Yeah, you know, that's chickens. Yeah. 
that's the thing. I don't get people who live in apartments and have big dogs. Cool. I always thought about parrots, but they make a lot of noise. And I have a hard enough time taking care of myself. So, as you can see, I'm not the most organized and everything. So, trying to take care of a dog or a pet along with that would just be crazy. I have a cat, but the cat's very self-caring and I don't have to do much. Yeah, but I don't get people who have, you know, big dogs. They live in small apartments. Like, sure, you can walk the dog, like, you know, an hour every day in the morning or something. But that's not enough, dude. That is not enough. Like, you live in a small ass apartment and you're working all day. That dog is stuck in there. It has nothing to do but potentially knock over stuff. I don't, you know, it's just. You know, if you have a big dog, you got to have like a big property property where you can just let that dog run loose and do whatever it wants and not have to worry about it going anywhere. You know, something like that. You know, just even, you know, walking because the dog can't run because you're you're waking up at like 6 a.m. to walk the dog. You're not going to be running with the dog. You're going to be just walking with it, you know, so it's not getting as much exercise as it could be. It's just, you know, I don't know. Small dogs, I can see them running around in the apartment and having plenty of stuff to do. With big dogs, even medium dogs, I don't think with a small apartment, there's enough room. Nah, I like my hair. I might be growing it out. I think it's handsome enough. Oh, yeah. I like the mop. I got a mop, baby. I wash the floor with my hair. So... I don't know, I'm bored. I could talk about dicks. Who the fuck? Oh, someone messes my ass. Oh, it's another fucking Discord thing. Fuck that, dude. I hate Discord. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I guess I'll show you some of the stuff I got. I'll probably do individual reviews for this stuff. And maybe even a better review of this in the future. But, uh... First off, I got this. If you don't know what this is, it's an effect pedal for a guitar or any electronic instrument, really. Right? This is the um, input, which your instrument goes in here, whether it's keyboard or guitar. And this is your output. This goes to your audio source, whether it's just a random speaker or an amp or whatever. And this is a uh, TC Electronic... Sky Surfer, I don't know what Sky Surfer even means, Reverb. So it's a reverb thing. It gives you a nice amount of reverb. You have reverb, obviously. It's reverb. You have a mix, which I guess just changes the sound a little. And you have tone, which also changes the sound a little. And then you have spring reverb, you have plate reverb, and you have hall reverb, which are different kinds, I guess. Spring is like a more old-fashioned reverb, like you'd see in a combo organ or an old amp or something. I think spring reverb is a manual, it's a physical spring that makes the reverb sound a little different. Plate reverb, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Hall reverb is just a big room. I guess, like a church. And this is the true bypass, which I guess means if you have this plugged in and you don't want to use it anymore and you just want to go back to your straight amp or whatever, you can just push down on this and this thing cuts off and no more reverb. So, cool. The effect to be applied? But that's what the reverb is for. The reverb tells you how much this is for reverb. The reverb should tell you how much effect, how much reverb do I want? Do I want no reverb? Do I want all the reverb? Right? Like what what's the point of the mix? I don't like this tells me how much reverb I want. The mix tells me how much of the amount of reverb I already set I want. It just I whatever. 
And then the tone, I guess, just is random outside of the reverb. I don't know. It's just whatever. It's more features, I guess. So I shouldn't complain. It's just kind of a confusing concept. But overall, this thing is pretty good. I've plugged this in. I've tried this. It works fine. I have an adapter for it, actually. It doesn't come with one, but I have an adapter for it. And it's pretty good. I was playing this earlier, ugh, earlier, and it almost sounds like Indian music, like a sitar or something. You know, it's got a lot of echo, and it just has that sort of twangy sound. It's pretty good. You know, I think a plate reverb is the most reverby, but it's not bad. It's cool. With distortion and stuff, it's pretty good. The only problem is I have multiple pedals now, and I don't have a thing to hook up all of them at once. I only have one um, DC adapter thing, so yeah. But oh well, let's go on the zone. This is a metal zone I got. I actually got this at a yard sale for thirty bucks, and I tried working it, but in the end I realized that it was me being stupid. And this metal zone pedal worked fine. It was just I didn't have the right AC, DC, whatever adapter thing. I had the wrong one. It didn't work properly. It was broken or something. So it didn't turn on. I thought it was broken. I tried like two different ones. I even put a battery in there, I think. And it didn't work. I don't know. So I got the right adapter or whatever. And it works now. So cool. You got your level, equalization, distortion. This thing is pretty good. I've honestly gotten heavier sounds from some other effects I have, but this gives you more of a medley, more of a a bite, more of a bright, sort of a piercing sound. Less of just a distortion, less of a just a crunchy, deep, powerful sound, and more of just a bright, like a piercing sound. So it's pretty good. So it has a good amount of effects and even smaller little knobs on top of the bigger knobs. It's pretty cool. I got this thing. These are all things I got for Christmas. I got this thing, which doesn't work for some reason. I don't know why. Should work, but this is a crybaby classic thing. You know, Wawa pedal model GCB95F. It should work, but for some reason I plugged it in with the adapter and the input and output, and it didn't work. I don't know why. It's supposed to press on this thing, and you're supposed to get wah-wah, but it didn't work. I don't know why. I'll have to see. Uh, well, that's annoying. Let's see. What else? Where is that thing? Ah. Here we go. I also got this. This is the G1X on, GIX on, guitar, multi-effect. Son of a bitch. Did I break this goddamn thing? Son of a fucking bitch. Ah. Fuck me. I hate these pieces of shit. Maybe not. Fine. Whatever. What is it? Put a goddamn nub for a test. Oh, yeah. So I got this bad boy. And it works. It's a Zoom. Should have mentioned that. Zoom G1 X on guitar multi effect processor. Now, reviews of this were pretty good. It's one of the best or better ones for its value of like 80 bucks. Um, I think it's less of a like modeling amp, but it's more just it gives you a bunch of generic classic guitar sounds and amp sounds, right? Apparently, it's kind of complicated to use and not super user friendly, but oh well, I'll figure it out eventually. So, what does this magical multi effect pedal have? Let's find out. 22. Built-in amp models. 58. Built-in stomp box effects. Yes. Chain up to five effects together, I guess. 100 patch cap 
opacity. So I guess you can create your own patches or add patches. Built in chromatic tuner. That's a nice effect. 68 built in rhythm patterns, drum patterns. Cool. Built in 30 second looper. All right. I guess you can continue a guitar loop thing. Headphone output option. Cool. 20 plus hours of battery life with four AA batteries. And they included fucking batteries in this thing, which is fucking awesome. They're probably shit batteries, but I don't care. I don't think I have batteries at the moment, and I didn't feel like buying any, so it comes with them. Firmware update. VIA USB ports. 11 dynamic filter effects. 12 overdrive distortion effects. 16 modulation special effects. 14 delays and reverb. So I have two versions of reverb now. Cool. And it has five pedal effects. Only five, but whatever. Cool. So I'm not going to open this today and mess with it. I might do it tomorrow, but... But, yeah. Oh, and I don't have it with me, but I also got an audio interface thing for just recording MIDI and keyboard. And the one I got, though, I think it's a task cam something. It has the old audio or MIDI plug connectors or whatever. So I can plug in an old keyboard or whatever that has old MIDI and not USB or whatever and it should work. So, hell yeah. Ugh. I was going to release an album. I had like a metal album and some other random stuff I did. I was going to release, but I don't know. I'm not done with it yet. I don't really, I don't know. I might add more to it. I might make a whole new album. I don't know. We'll see. Stone Cold Mickey, baby. All right. <coughs> Let's see here. Why don't I test today after all? We got my Marshall lamp here. I got for thirty bucks at a at a thrift shop. Price tag is still on it. This thing's pretty decent. It's budget, but it's like a two hundred dollar amp, or it was, and it was new, maybe two fifty, something like that. Okay. I'm gonna try out this pedal. This metal out. Son of a bitch. God, I don't want to drop this thing, but I don't know how to. Damn it. Fuck. Man, if this thing breaks on my ass. Oh, that's one of the reasons why. This thing's coming undone, coming undone. Mama, my dick is coming undone. Good enough. They can't hear me. I don't fucking know. Close enough. Okay. Try this baby out. Here we have output. Yes, output. The output, or well, output. And we have my shitty guitar here. Put that in here. Oh, yeah. And now, if I can find the end of this cord. You know, I hate all these cords. You know, you have each effect pedal has to have an, an adapter plug. And then you have to have a plug going from a guitar to the amp. And the amp has a plug. And then if you have an effect pedal, you have a plug, a jack cord going from the guitar to the effect pedal to the amp. And you have another effect pedal. You have another cord. And then you have a microphone with a cord. 
then you have a computer with a cord, and then headphones with a cord, and then the webcam has a cord, and all these fucking wires everywhere. It really pisses me off, man. I mean, I just, I can't handle it. It's like, it's just tripping over wires and stuff. There's a fire in here, man. It'd be awful. Oh, yeah, so plug this in. Where's the end of that? Come on. Here's the end of the adapter. We'll put the adapter in here. Okay. All right, the light came on. Oh, yeah. But I don't want to blow anyone's ears out. Now, I've, there's two settings on here. There's a clean channel, and then there's the overdrive channel. And I've tried using this with the overdrive channel, but either I'm too close to the amp, but it's just a ton of freaking distortion. So this works best on the clean channel. I thought overdrive channel would just make it extra crazy, but it just gives it a lot of distortion. So. Now I'm in nowhere a good guitar player, but I'm just testing it out here a little. Change some of the settings here in this thing. I think the level down a little. Tune it. Let's talk about tuning. I don't tune, baby. That's not how my music is. I don't tune. I perform. All right. That's enough of that. That was pretty lame, but you got the idea. Shit. It, oh, fuck. it plays metal. Ish. Uh, I lost four people in the process, so must be doing something right. Oh, God, my tongue is all dry from talking. Shit, now I'm hungry again. I don't know. I'm fucking hungry. Ugh. Ugh. But I don't want to go get food because I just, my stomach is finally somewhat settled. And now I'm fucking hungry again. So it's a cycle of life. I get hungry. I eat more. I feel like shit. I got to just cleanse myself for a day. Just a day where I don't eat for half the day. And they eat nothing but like a salad and beans or something. I should eat fruit. Right? I literally crapped like six times today. And half the time I was burning. And it, it, uh, I, I need to improve my diet. Anyway. Need to improve my diet. Baby, I gotta improve my diet. So my shits don't stink, yeah. Ooh, let me see what's free on Craigslist here. You can't really see this, so maybe you can. Um, 
let's see. Where's a good one? I don't know if you can see this. Hold on. This will help. Okay. Uh, where's the cord? Hold on. You are looking at the darkness. The darkness of my troubled mind. There we go. Yeah. Craigslist. New York City. Oh, it's a little off. Does that work? I think so. Yeah, I guess that's stabilized. Okay. New York City Craigslist. Let's see what's free, baby. Now. Ooh, God. Ooh, dude. Vintage Porno Mag, man. I don't know if I can see this picture, but Vintage Porno Mag from 19... Don't look at that. It's not it's not safe for, for adults or children. Vintage Porno Magazine from 1981. Harvey? I've never heard of Harvey before. Trying to get my good deed in for the year. Please help me by taking this magazine. How is that a good deed? What's wrong with looking at a porn magazine? I mean, it's depressing now because you have internet, but I don't know. There's got to be a punchline in there somewhere. I just can't find it right now. Oh, yeah. So if you live in the New York area, in Baldwin, that's on Long Island, I think. If you live in Long Island and you live near Baldwin, get yourself a single porno magazine. A single porno magazine. Because I have a lot. I always have a lot of tabs open. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to Craigslist here. Am I holding that upright? I hope I am. Well, that's a freaking note. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, a porcelain lamp. Upper East Side. Beautiful table lamp. Works perfectly. Ooh. My mother would like that. Anyway, I'm not going to the Upper East Side to get that. Let's see. What else is there? Oh, dude. Fuck yeah. Free kids pool. A scooter. An outdoor playhouse. And a bunch of lamps. A bunch of lamps. Oh, dude, look, it's a scooter and, like, a pool thing. Fuck yeah. And it's not just any scooter. It's a Cars scooter. It's Disney Pixar Cars. It's a Cars scooter, baby. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. I want a Cars scooter. Fuck yeah. Are there other pictures? Oh, dude, look how awesome that is. Fuck. It's got, like, fish pattern in there and shit. Fuck, dude, I want that. Oh, look at that house. I could fucking live in that house. That's a nice house. It's got it's got shutters too, dude. Keep the cold out. That's fucking awesome, dude. Look at this. Oh, yeah, it's got a nice door. It's got, like, nice hard design. This is a fancy house. It's got a thing on the bottom there for the mail to go in. That's pretty awesome. It's got no window glass, but I'll make do. Oh, dude, look at those lamps, dude. Fuck yeah. Who doesn't want three generic shitty lamps? The desk lamps. Hey, I could use lamps for YouTube to brighten up the 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 room, I guess. I guess that's what professionals unlike me are supposed to do is have a fucking lot of light. I don't know. They don't show them like garbage. Turn over. Ooh. Lamps. I should be doing it with the doing this with OBS, but fuck it. Oh yeah, dude. Christmas tree stands. Oh yeah. Christmas is a year away now, but I want that shit for Christmas tree stands, baby. Ooh, a dwarf hamster. You wanted a pet that's not a dog? Get your ass a dwarf hamster. Hell yeah. Dwarf hamster. Come on, work. Damn it, I hate this because it's like, ugh. Now 
All right, let's see. What else is there? Multiple pieces of furniture, an exercise bike that probably doesn't work, mold cap. Nobody wants that. Mm, January 1st through January 5th, email. Ooh, free pallets. I could make some wood projects with that. Large, round, wooden tabletop. Kind of cool. Ooh. A broken printer and a scanner. Anyone want a broken printer and a scanner? Oh, yeah. That sounds awesome. A broken printer and a scanner, baby. Hell, yeah. Broken printer and scanner. All right. An Ikea wardrobe thing. It looks like shit. Hell, yeah. Dude, I don't need these, but fucking... Oh, wow, 362. I could almost wipe my ass for an entire year, one a day, with these Huggies wipes, dude. I'm not a baby, but if I got a dirty asshole, hell yes, dude. Hell yes. Where is this? Third Avenue, East 88th Street, Middle of Central Park. I can go there, fucking pick me up some Huggies. Fuck yeah, wipe my ass every day of the year. Ooh, Christmas decorations. Santa with added accent piece. Cool. Look at that funky looking Santa. Santa is about two feet tall, is beige and gold, and accent piece is beige, gold, and green with three candles. Pre owned but nicely kept. Selling both for $12. Now free. Merry, why even why even put selling for twelve dollars? You're just confusing people. If they're now free, just post free. You put it in free stuff. Just post free. I like what whatever. Just post it's free. Okay, I don't I don't get that at all. Whatever. Fuck that. Ooh, free foam. Over 200 pieces, two by three feet, two by two by four feet. We'll load onto your truck. Wow, could I build a house with foam? That's cool. I don't know what I'd use it for, but foam. Framed pictures of Sinatra. And that's the guy from um, The Godfather. I forget his name. Al Capone, Al Pacino, Al Garino. Gabonzo beans. I don't know his name. Ooh, a leaf blower. This is a great leaf blower, but it's been difficult for me to start up recently. I had sent it to the curb to, out for a carb cleaning about a year ago, but I think it's actually might be loose wire on the handle. Whatever. I don't want a leaf blower. Free boat. Cool. A 27 foot boat. Fuck yeah. Need this gone by Saturday. Cool. A 20-foot boat. I don't know. The engine don't look that great. But a 20-foot boat. Fuck yeah. Ooh, look at that, dude. Fuck yeah. It's a little beat up. But nice, dude. A 20-foot boat. Fuck yeah. You got a seat in there. You can sit. Maybe even have a place to sleep somewhere. Fuck yeah, dude. A little fishing. Ooh, a bird fountain. Now, this is cool, dude. I want a fucking bird found, dude. There's some naked cherub people sitting there. Oh, I want the little guy with the statue. I want that guy sitting there, the creepy dude. But I'll take the bird thing. Cool. Free slate. Cool. We got some good stuff here. Damn, dude. We got some records. I don't know any of these people. Old books. Cool. Anything else of interest? Nah. Jesus cross to hang on the wall. No fucking thank you. It was free. Well, it is free, but I want to go and get it. Some video cables. An old wooden ladder. That's cool. Ooh, an upright piano. Nice one. Mendel. 
Sun something Derby, Connecticut, U.S. Seems cool. Hmm. Wood, a fan, 55 gallon plastic drums. Nah. Well, that's about it for me. For that. Oh, God. Well, I've been streaming for an hour, and I'm kind of fucking bored and hungry again, so I reviewed this thing. I hope it's decent. Oh, yeah. So, I streamed for over an hour. This is probably my longest stream, so goodbye. <laughs> See ya. End the stream, little baby.